Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 2 of our FTB Skies Let's Play series. Uh, where today we got a lot going on, we're making some base progression, we're cranking through the getting started uh, quest guide and everything, getting into lava, all kinds of good stuff, so uh, let's dive on in and get this thing started. Welcome back my friends to our FTB Skies Let's Play series, where today we're going to be uh, working on some things. Like I said, in between episodes, I said I was going to design our base a little bit, give us some expansion, and I have done so uh, as much as I could. Kind of got a little tired of it, so I didn't go all out, but here is our base as of now. We'll talk about this in a moment, because I kind of want to do this, but man, was it a lot of wood. Um, anyway, so uh, we have our little central area here. Uh, I used the water bucket that it gave me, plus the water source block that was chilling over here, uh, and brought it back here, made myself an infinite source of water, source here, source here, means I can pick up from here for free. Uh, so by doing that, I was able to plant some... <clears throat> Uh, plants. So I got our sugar cane, our, our flax. I also set up two more of those so I could plant some rice uh, on both sides so that we can get some rice going. Don't know if we're going to need it, but we are. Um, what we have here, this is the nine by nine that I had set up initially and I expanded off of it uh, three blocks out. And then these are 11 by 11, so which just took some some slabs and it really wasn't that m difficult overall. Uh, because I mean, I, I set up a little tree farm over here. So what I did was I grew some trees initially. I only have, I think two bone meal left after all said and done. Um, so I grew some trees, uh, and then expanded out these ones first. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, well, I want a tree farm. I don't want to be sitting here manually growing the trees anymore. So then I expanded out and created this little section over here, which is another nine by nine. Um, notice I didn't do that for all the others. Eventually, I think I will. But for now, uh, you know, it, it would take too long and I don't need the extra space at the moment. Uh, so I just came over here, got some dirt, set it up, and we have a nice, simple tree farm uh, for, well, the growing and the planting of the trees. So it's pretty pretty simple and then they grow as over time i just plant them and then i let it sit and then i come over here and harvest it every so often uh, notice i do have stone axe now instead of using uh well actually i was using my hand i didn't even make a wood axe last episode um but yeah i just go ahead and then i run around and collect all the stuff some of it falls off the side but it's okay but like from that look we got 31 logs so it's really not that bad of a process uh, and a decent amount of saplings uh we're also getting food out of it which is great because my hunger bar is low Apples are a great source of food, but so are all these other things. Um, I'd like to eat this nightshade. It's going to poison me, but I think I have elderberry, so I can go ahead and eat that, and it should clear the poison effects. Yep, but that counts as two things getting eaten. Uh, yeah, I also went ahead and set up some chests over here for uh, storage so that we have a little bit of better storage. I know I was using the crafting station and linking to it and everything, but I uh, decided to just change it up and go this route. Uh, by the way, underneath the crafting station here in the center of your island is an angel block. In case you uh, ever so need, there is an angel block down there. So just save you from having to craft one in the future. If ever you want to go out and build or something like that, um, you have an angel block available to you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and drop this stuff off. Having that extra uh, logs there will be nice. I'll go ahead and actually I need I made some torches, uh, but I need to go ahead and get more charcoal going. That way we have, you know, charcoal. Anyway, so my drawers or my chests over here, uh, this is building materials. So like our dust and I mean, dust isn't really a building, but it's like these kind of things. OK, dirt, gravel, dust and all that stuff. Wood based items go here, including fences and sticks. Uh, this is going to be metals and stuff over here is going to be gems and dusts and things like that. Above here is mob drops. Um, Normally I would have seven in a row, but I don't have the room because these are three by three. Uh, this is plantables, and then this is eatables, edibles. And then this is going to be miscellaneous between the both of those. So we have that going on. Uh, over here, this is kind of the design that I want to go with for our base. But like I said, it was this was a pain to do. Um, and I just, I it took a lot of logs. I need to wait till I have more of a back stuff of logs and everything in order to do something like this. Uh, but anyway, it's our 11 by 11 here, and I expanded out one more, so it's technically 13 by 13, but the outside edges aren't usable. Um, but I set up these posts for the logs and everything, so these two are facing up. 
the one here, and then there's one below it facing up, but then all the edges are going sideways and then up, up, uh, and then that all the way around with some fence to stop us from being able to fall off the edge and everything like that. I think it looks really nice, um, and I and I like it, but it was just it was a lot of work and it used a lot of wood, uh, so I think we'll just hold off on getting the rest of this set up until I have some more wood grown. I mean, and the trees grow fairly decently quick, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're at with that. And then over here, I have our sifter set up. I did go ahead and collect the crest, the crest, the quest reward, uh, and I got ourselves our sifters. I only set up three of them because I didn't have enough wooden hoppers. And I, I mean, wooden hoppers are cheap. It's not like it's that expensive to make. Uh, but I only had the three, so I just used what I had and made it. And we only have the one mesh right now anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so brought this over here, spunny spun spun the hand crank, and this is what we ended up with after spinning all the stuff that we had. So we'll collect all of that, uh, and we'll bring it over here. Our nuggets will leave as is, but our diorite we will compress, our tuff we will compress, and our andesite we will go ahead and compress and place those into our building materials drawer. Go ahead and put these seeds in there. Uh, the iron nuggets I guess we'll hold on to. We're probably going to need them momentarily. These kind of fit that category, too. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what we got. That's a big tree. That'll be a lot of logs for that one. So we'll just let that grow and then go harvest it, you know, as we go through. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and continue working on our quests. So we have our getting started quest line. So our sifters, I'd, like I said, I collected these. Uh, we do have some experience and some fried eggs we can go ahead and collect to finish that off. And we'll put the fried eggs in with the food. And you know what? I'll swap apples because, you know, fried eggs are a better meal. Not by much TBH, but we'll take it. It's a little bit better. Gave us some extra hearts by eating an unknown food. So we'll take that. Um, I did get sugar cane from that, so we'll go ahead. Oh, more bone meal, some paper, and some sponge. That's not a uh, bad trade-off for that. So we have our bone meal. We'll keep that on hand because we never know when we're going to need it. Um, and paper can go in here. Sponge really can too, and bee spawn eggs. We're going to get quite a few of these from what I understand, so we'll put those. start putting those in the top drawer. Uh, so that takes care of that. Now, uh, we do have a fishing rod, um, that a quest for fishing that we can get, which will earn us a fishing net from Cyclic, which automatically fishes for us. Uh, what this quest says, though, is that the fishing net spits the loot over the water surface, so we would need some sort of item collector. And I don't know if we have any access to an item collector uh, without... I mean, that's actually not too bad. Iron. We would need iron and everything. Uh, so it's a potential but it's not on our list just yet so we'll skip that and we'll move on so gravel alloys is going to get us oh it actually gets us andesite so we get andesite alloy out of that we get some fish stew and some andesite so i didn't even need to worry about getting uh the andesite alloy for the mesh because it just gives it to me in the first place which is kind of nice um so let's go ahead and see our quests our goal we want to get ourselves a water wheel for sure at least one and then it gives us three after that so um, I don't think, I don't see why we wouldn't just go ahead and do this. We have two andesite alloy. It gave us it, and we now have the ability to make more. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves that, and we'll get ourselves the water wheel, though I do need some planks. Tell me I have some left over. Yes, okay. Uh, so we'll get ourselves the water wheel itself. And with the water wheel, we will now be able to automate our sifting versus me having to manually do so. And we will do that in a moment. I'd like to go ahead and get ourselves the mesh so that way I can set it up. It does give us some extra water meals, water meals, water wheels. Uh, I'm only going to plan on using one over there for the moment. Uh, so I don't need to stress about that. And I shouldn't. Uh, I'll need a no, I have a cog wheel over there. I'll probably need another cog wheel, though, I imagine. Um for that setup and then fish stew that's a pretty darn good meal i'll put that there eat that first and then eat the fried eggs after that uh, so that gets me my water wheel we'll go ahead and get our andesite mesh next which should just be some sticks and some andesite alloy so we should be able to craft that up fairly easily uh, and we told want a total of three of those do i have uh, i'm short i'm going to be short one iron nugget for that bummer uh, let's go ahead and do that again. I don't have enough sticks. I think I have sticks in that chest, but whatever. And a sign alloy. We'll go ahead and get two of them going at least. That way I can have two of my things. Does it give me one? No, it does give me a regular bucket though. So that's kind of nice. Uh, which means that we're going to be getting into lava soon. I can tell you that. 
Anyway, so let's come on over here. Let's go ahead and take our string mesh. Now, the meshes, if I remember correctly, in maybe here, um, it says something about meshes. There's something somewhere. Meshes are, no matter what, uh, mesh upgrades are, just do it. Okay, just just upgrade your message meshes. There's no reason to keep old ones around. New ones will always be able to get the old resources. So we'll go ahead and pop these two on there. And we're going to want to go ahead and automate this with a water wheel. So let's go ahead and we'll do that on the back side. That way we don't have to see it. And I notice I set up a little bit of a platform down here, but not terribly too much so that we don't lose all of our stuff. But we're still losing some of it. It's OK, though. OK, so our water wheel is going to sit here, right? Yes. OK. And then I can take my cog off of here and stick the cog wheel. And I actually don't even need a second one. And then now all I got to do is get water flowing from there to there, which I just so happen to have a water bucket on me. So if I put my water, oh, you know what? I don't want this to be slabs. That's going to waterlog. I need it to be something like cobble. So let's go ahead and replace all of this. Can I get down there? Yes. OK, so I want it's not fall off. Let's replace this with cobble so that it doesn't waterlog. There we go. And if I place this here, that should start spinning. Yeah. Now that powers three of them. I do have extra sifters. Let's see, can I power more with that? Uh, let's grab another sifter just to test this out. So, because it's working with three, but if I throw four, okay, it can handle four. What about five? If I wanted five, I don't like the look of four. So, if I can get five, that'd be great. If not, we'll just stick with three. Okay, so we're overstressed with five, so we can't handle five. I could set up another water wheel and everything, but it's OK. Uh, so we'll go with three. I'm not going to complain about having three of them available to me. Uh, and yeah, that's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. What I want to do is I'm going to get a chest and put like create stuff over in this area uh, just so that I can store it and it be in an area that's relatively uh, sensible. Right. Right. Let's go ahead and throw hoglin ears in here. That is a food. You know what? We'll eat that first. It's balancing all this food. <laughs> That's going to be the hardest part because, well, we got all the food and we need to to balance it uh, so that we can eat most of it. Anyway, uh, so that gets that taken care of. So that took care of most of those quests that we had there. Uh, andesite mesh. So our next goal with that andesite mesh, we need to go ahead and make ourselves some clay. We also need to make ourselves some redstone. And we need to make ourselves some or get some pasture seeds, apparently. Uh, we're also going to want to get ourselves some blaze dust. So those four things utilizing our mesh, our andesite mesh. So if we take a look at this. If I want to get the recipe for clay ball and I come over here to our sifting recipe, um, that is going to be a waterlogged andesite mesh pushing sand through. OK, interested to see how this waterlogging works. We'll find out. Uh, redstone dust is going to be. So let me let me go back. We're going to want to do sand. Let's go to redstone dust. The recipe for this in our sifting is dust. So we're going to want dust. Pasture seeds is going to be dirt. And blaze powder is going to be dust as well. OK, so dust is going to get us redstone and blaze powder. So we're going to be pretty, pretty flush with that. I'm not going to complain about that there. Um, as we go up in tiers, we start getting more items. So it looks like like this is the mana steel blaze is still 10 and 10 glowstones 20 and 20. It doesn't look like we get an increased chance for these. It just adds new items to it. Um, but we're going to need some sand. We're going to need some dust and we're going to need some dirt. Also, by the way, you're going to notice there's a bee on my map. Uh, a loot bee spawned over here as I was making it. And then he flew down there. So I was never able to actually see the bee or do anything with him, which is kind of bummed me out a little bit. OK, so we're going to need to get ourselves. We need dust. And we need dirt and we need sand, which I don't have, but I do have gravel. So we can go ahead and break down some of this gravel. So let's go ahead, pop on over here and break this up. You know what? How about iron? I'm going to assume that comes from gravel. Um, not iron, like iron ore, like chunk of iron. 
Why doesn't that? Oh, because I typed iron ore. Iron chunk? No, it's iron raw. There we go. That comes from gravel. So let's not do all of this gravel. Let's, let's be conservative. Granted, I have cobblestone and I can always break down more. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but the Andrade is being lazy at the moment and doesn't really want to deal with it. So, yeah. Okay, so with that being said, let's pop on over here. Now, we need to figure out how to waterlog this. Uh, I need to go get some water. Let's do that first. Oh, we can eat our hoglin ear. Hoglin ear. Did I say that right? And then after that will be fish stew. Uh, let's grab some water. And let's see, how do we waterlog this? Like, is it smart enough that if I go ahead and right-click on there? Nope. What if I shift right-click? Oh, it works. Okay. And... You know what? Since I had the water flowing that way, it's not a big deal. I could put a block here to stop that from happening, but it, it doesn't affect it at all. It's just going to continue to flow. And now it looks like it's waterlogged. Is We'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, so in order to get the clay, it was sand. So we'll go ahead and do half of our sand in here. Let's drop that. And then in order to get everything else, it was dust. So we'll go ahead and throw our dust into here. Oh, and by the way, the way that this works is I have uh, wooden hoppers. This hopper is feeding into this hopper. And then there's a hopper under here feeding into this hopper. And then this hopper feeds into the uh, chest. So that's how it's able to all come into this chest. Hey, look, we got some redstone. We got some clay. And the only thing that we're missing is blaze powder. And the pasture seeds. So we got redstone. We got clay, we got blaze powder, so we just need pasture seeds. And again, that was dirt sieved through. And we haven't even done dirt yet, so I think we're, we're chilling pretty good. I'm not going to complain about this. And we're actually getting quite a lot of resources out of this. So the waterlogged one is done. Um, I guess I'll leave that one waterlogged. I need to get another andesite mesh going so that I can run two of these processes at a time. Um, but for now, we'll go ahead and just... Not that... I wanted to, okay, I took the dust out. That's fine. We'll go ahead and throw half a stack of this dirt in there. And then that should get us those pasture seeds. We'll collect everything and then we'll put it in our inventory. We're getting some berries. That's nice. Maybe I'll eat those first. Hey, pasture seeds. That's what I was here for. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up this inventory because it's an absolute mess now. So uh, plantables, kelp is a plantable, seagrass is plantable. Pasture seeds, they're not plantable, but they turn grass and or dirt into grass, so we'll take that. Uh, sweet berries, I'm going to eat. A sea pickle is a plantable. Now we're going to actually have stuff going into our gems and powders. So uh, redstone dust goes in here. Clay goes in here. Salt is a dust. Appetite is a dust. Blaze powder. Mm, I mean, it's powder, but it's a mob drop, but blazes don't drop blaze powder they drop blaze rods that can go in there that can go in there slime ball is a mob drop uh, sulfur goes in here cooked pork chops that's a good meal um what else iron nugget that goes into my metals chest and you know what we'll do is we'll have raw metals here and then cooked metals i guess you can call them let's go ahead and clean up some of this stuff we can put the slabs away those can go there uh hammer can stay uh sure something like that should be fine should be fine and let's see what else we got from the rest of that okay now we can come over here and hopefully we can press the filtered insert okay it did work but i haven't gotten any of this other stuff yet so <laughs> what ifs uh filtered inserts tough chunks can go in there all this stuff needs to go over here let's get let's try and organize inventory a little bit uh we'll take the andesite the diorite and the tough and then we will go ahead and press k on all of them to compress them down into their requisite materials sure you can stay there can i eat this yet not yet okay trees are growing well we're going to get some more logs so as 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 we go i can start expanding these things uh but yeah okay that takes care of all of those quests, that's four quests that we just cranked out. Got us some more clay, got us some more redstone, including a redstone lantern. Uh, for the pasture seeds, we're going to get the greenest thumb, a silk touch mending shovel. That's pretty darn good. I'm not going to complain about that. 
Uh, using bone meal on grass can grow flowers, seeds, and roots. That's good to know. And the golden egg, that is a really good reward. A golden egg, wow. Um, golden egg, it, as it says, creates a five-by-five five area of delightful dirt. Delightful dirt is special dirt that spawns all the passive mobs, um, which is fantastic. It gives us a lot of passive mobs. We can farm them up. We can, we can uh, get all of their resources by... Uh, doing some culling of the herd, if you know what I mean there. Uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty darn good reward. I'll take that. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to make because you need buckets of experience. Then you got to use it on a chicken and yada, yada, yada. OK, so that takes care of that. Now we have blaze dust that gets us some more blaze dust, some more regular dust and some more XP. So we can go ahead and throw all of that into there. Uh, now, I did want to throw gravel over here because I need some iron so I can get another andesite mesh. So let's go ahead and throw all of that gravel into there. My next goal, it looks like, is getting into a squeezer from or Integrated Dynamics, which is going to require a block of iron and iron ingots. So we're going to need some gravel essentially i need to mesh some gravel or or what's it called some gravel in order to get this um so let's go ahead and luckily gravel is the second step so it's not going to be too difficult to do this and the best way to do this one two three four five six seven eight and then we'll do one two three four that should be 32 uh we have a hammer which is great so we can automate this plus using the stone wand makes that super simple so now that should be 32, and I get, mm, I was going to say I could pick up my water, but I probably have an iron nugget here so I can make another mesh really quick. Mesh of the andesite nature. Uh, I need the andesite alloy. Alloy done and mesh done. There we go. Now I can go ahead and put this. Now I kind of double my meshing capabilities. So we'll do that and we'll do that. And there we go. And with that, we should start getting iron, which is what I'm here for. Uh, I need iron and I need a block of it. And so I need 10 total ingots of iron uh, out of this. So let's go ahead and start smelting this, though. I kind of don't want to until I get uh, eight at least. That way I'm not wasting my um, stuff. And let's we'll just let this go. Start the eight that we have here. Bam. And then get another batch going. That's six. Hey, we're getting coal now, too. That's nice. Seven. One more raw iron. Hopefully, yeah, we have enough gravel. And now for 32 gravel that we put in here, we're actually getting quite a lot of resources. I'm not going to complain about the amount of resources that we're getting over here uh, from here overall, because that's that's a lot. Sorry about that. If you were hearing my cat in the background, he, uh, he he thinks it's time to be fed, even though he doesn't ever get fed till like seven o'clock at night on any other day. Uh, he thinks it's time now for some reason. It's it's seven o'clock, even though it's only one o'clock. Uh, anyway, so with our iron, uh, there's no real way for us to ore double at our stage yet. So, you know, you got the blast furnace, which just makes it do faster. We'll probably want some blast furnaces and replace our regular furnace uh, at some point. Um, but like blast furnishes does it faster crushing doesn't really double. It gets us crushed raw iron, which we could then wash, which gets us nine iron nuggets, which is one iron ingot. So it's really not any faster doing it that way. Um, yeah, so that's not, that's not doubling anything. Bulk blasting just gets us one packaging is just packaging it. Or purification from Elemental Craft gets us three to four, so it's slightly uh, increased. It's a 25% increase, I guess, uh, or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a math. I mean, I am a math teacher, but I'm not a mather. Um, maybe, I mean, uh, the mechanism route, of course, you can always go that way to get extras. Um, there is Occultism's Crusher can double it, and then once you get to, like, the higher tier, the Merit, I think you, like, six x's it or something like that but that's still a lot uh or a long way off and yeah there's no other real way a pulverizer can get us uh an addition 25 percent additional chance and nickel out of it so a pulverizer to a smelter or a redstone furnace would not be something that i wouldn't be opposed to at some point but we're not there yet we have no power generation or anything like that uh, so that's just we'll just 
continue operating as, you know, as if we didn't have access to any sort of ore doubling. Okay, so we want to go ahead and get a block of iron, and then we need some sticks and some planks. Let's grab those. And with that, we'll be able to get ourselves a nice little squeezer. Now, the squeezer from Integrated Dynamics is a fantastic little tool because, well, it does what it says. It squeezes things. It, it allows things to be turned into liquids. Specifically, in our case, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is how we get our early game lava because there's a lava bucket right here. So that's that's where I'm going. Um, squeezer squeezes fluids out of items. To do so, place an item inside and then repeatedly jump on it until it's done. The fluid is pushed into a tank on either side of the squeezer. If it isn't drained, you can't squeeze another item. Reset it with a redstone signal. Notably, you can squeeze blaze powder into lava, and that's where we are at. We're working on getting ourselves a bucket of lava. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a hopper in the back of this. I believe we can hopper into this. Um... Just that way I don't have to manually click everything. And I happen to have four blaze powder, which is just enough to be able to uh, do the thing that I need to do. If you notice on your um, mechanical squeezer, there are these little channels. That's where the fluid is going to flow out from. It is directional, so you need to make sure that you set it up correctly. And you need a redstone signal of some sort to reset it. But all you got to do is come on this and jump. I think it's four jumps. Four, five. I lied. It's six jumps, and then you just press the button and do it again. And luckily, the hopper will just keep pushing the items in. And it is 250 millibuckets of lava per blaze that you're doing. So you need four blaze in order to get one bucket of lava. Okay. There's that. And jumpy jump. Done. And we should now have a bucket of lava, and it gave us a bucket for it. So there we go, bucket of lava acquired. And with that bucket of lava, it's going to give us some dripstone and a fluid hopper. Um, we'll set that up somewhere actually, because this, I mean, blaze powder does get us stuff, but it's not the fastest process in the world. If we can have it automated, that would be kind of nice. So I know dripstone's not very fast, but if we can get enough buckets uh, blaze powder was what dust i could set up all th i could set up three of these i don't want to do four because it's not going to look cool you know and, and, and aesthetics are important blaze powder was dust going in i'm going to put that on my to-do list because i think i'm going to want to do that um get what i would need is a couple but three buckets i'm going to need three buckets for that um and yeah We'll go ahead and set up one, and that way you can see how it works, and then we'll set up the others. Uh, but that takes care of lava. And then now it's going to allow me to get into pedestals with the material generator. Um, however, we are getting close to wrapping up points, so I think I'll hold off on this task until next episode. We'll add it to our to-do list. But it's not, not that it's a hard task, but it's not... Uh, the fastest thing in the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up this dripstone uh, somewhere reasonable or sensible. I mean, I have water over here. I could move my water to the front here and then set up the lava in the back. I kind of like that idea. Um, let's yeah, let's do that. We'll put the water in the front. Uh, we'll go here, here and here. Let me get some cobble. Because again, it will waterlog. Luckily, quarks in the pack so that we can easily uh, build below blocks without having to do anything too crazy. So we'll do that. Grab our water. And then I'll put lava in the back here. And then this is kind of sort of our general purpose area, I guess. I don't know. Um, we'll go ahead and cobblestone, replace that water. Get rid of all of this cobblestone, lost it all, is what it is. And we'll set this, ah, come on. It's probably gonna break both, no, okay. Okay, so for our lava gen, we're gonna want this. We're gonna want the fluid hopper. We're gonna want more than one eventually, but I think for, for now we should be okay. Uh, so I'm gonna want the lava tank. Fluid tank can go here. We're going to want the fluid hopper to sit here. Now, the one thing the quest does mention 
uh, is that it's going to fill a cauldron. So we're probably going to need a cauldron. Hopefully I have enough iron for a cauldron. I don't. I'm going to be... Do I? Yeah, I'm one short, as I, as I thought. I don't know why I second-guessed myself there. Uh, so we are one iron short, but we can go ahead and process that up. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab, while that's working, we'll go ahead and grab all this stuff and put it in our inventories. So raw metals go here. So if it says raw, it goes into here. Raw lead, uh, raw tin, raw zinc. Probably time to eat these sweet berries now. New foods. There we go. Uh, and raw silver can all go into there. Diamonds go there. Emeralds, lapis. Oh, hey, look, I found diamond. Wow. Pretty cool. Wow. And then copper. And then that takes care of all that. Okay. And with that, we should have enough iron for the cauldron. Okay. So then the cauldron is going to sit on top of the fluid hopper and then above the fluid hopper we'll go ahead and get you know our cobblestone i have a bucket of lava right yeah so the cobblestone will go here that's where the dripstone is going to be so the dripstone itself is going to sit right here uh let's go ahead and build ourselves up and the way that the dripstone works is that you have to have a block with lava above it right it is hanging from a block that has lava above. So we're going to build a container of some sort for the lava, like so. And then if we put our lava bucket in here, we should be good to go. We can go ahead and clear. Let's make sure I don't light my base on fire. I do have to be cognizant of the fact that my base is made out of wood. So I don't want to be, you know, too crazy. Hopefully... Since that's up there, the little sparks of the lava won't light the base on fire. <laughs> we'll find out when my entire base go crumbles into nothing. Uh, but there we go. So now it's going to automatically fill this up with lava. And it is slow. It is not a fast process at all. Absolutely not. But what we can do is expand this and I'll get the other two dripstone uh, and I'll have them go into their own cauldron with fluid hoppers pointing into there and then that way everybody's making lava so there's three of them processing at least so it's not too bad uh, so that's going to end up going there that'll go there that'll go there that's there that's there and that's there and then that way i can break those two that are there and then bada bing bada boom we have lava but i need two more buckets in order to do that and then those two buckets will allow us to make more buckets you know what i'm saying is it making sense? Uh, we can go ahead and... Oh, I don't have any dust. Uh, I also don't have very much cobblestone. So maybe I'll make some dust in between episodes and uh, get us a little bit more lava to speed this process up. Plus, we're going to need some for the pedestal. So, yeah, I think that's going to be my to-do list, uh, my tasks in between episodes. We're also going to need to get a, uh, another bucket, but that's pretty simple to handle. Okay, uh, but that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.